All right, so in this video, we're going to be looking at some of the behind the scenes stuff in the My Night Season 2 trailer I made. Um, uh, this, is, this video is a little bit later than I had said. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen I was having some internet issues and I wasn't really able to get this up. Uh, but so it's a little bit late, uh, but better late than never. Uh, so anyway, we're in the uh, I Night scene right here, or I in area uh, here. The opening scene and real quick I just want to say about this video this is definitely has been my favorite favorite video to make uh, definitely the, my favorite final product so far um, and mainly because um, in this one if you want where I I made the music for this as well which is a first of me I've never really made a a, a track before I, I have a keyboard that I like a piano keyboard that I've played uh, you know just for fun you know whenever uh, but I've never really, like, made a track. Uh, so this is new for you. So at this point now, I'm completely independent of any outside resources. I, you know, I, if you want to where I made my own rigs and stuff. So theoretically, I could, like, dis disconnect myself from the internet and would have been able to still make pretty much the same thing. Um, a few things, like, you know, here and there. Like, obviously, like, there's skins. Um, here's, I have Tucker selected, so you can see. Their skins and stuff, you know, but theoretically, I mean, I can make all the music, I can make all the assets, I can do it all on my own, which is really big, um, which makes me happy. Because <laughs> now, searching through, like, royalty-free music libraries and trying to find right music, it was like, you know what, screw this, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and learn to do this myself, I might as well do it at some time. So I took, like, a day of, uh, just a day of watching YouTube videos on, like, basic stuff, and then the next day... Well, only actually for like half the day, because I don't really have the time to spare to take a whole day out on music. But uh, uh, yeah, for the half that day, I put this, put the track together. And that was really my biggest concern with this video was that the music was going to kind of fall short. Uh, but people seemed to really like it, which was real, made me real happy. Uh, so <clears throat> anyway, getting into the actual animation-y stuff. Actually, let me disable the sound here. All right, so we just have these... I guess establishing shots uh, of binary, and you'll notice the image here that is in the background isn't the actual image that's in the final. And this, the image you're seeing here, is doesn't actually render. Let me zoom out here a little bit. This doesn't actually render. Uh, this is just this is what's. I mean, this is basically this is the light source of the scene. There are no other lights. Actually, there's a light in this cave, uh, in the in the cave that the camera kind of ooh, all over the place here. Uh, in the cave that the camera goes through, there's a light in there, but um, all the light comes from this uh, this image here. And I originally was going to use the image, the background I made for uh, that actually shows in the video, but the way that was the light that that made the the lighting that that emitted was really consistent. Like you, it's hard to tell from just looking at the video, but since this varies, there are like you know bright spots, darker spots. Uh, there are more variations in this. It makes for a much more interesting uh, lighting setup than just a pretty uniform, consistent image. Uh, so I ended up going like this. But this just renders this alpha channel, so this is all nothing. And I can just drop in whatever I want behind it uh, for the background. Because this would look kind of ridiculous, especially these uh, the poles here would look kind of ridiculous uh, if I were to use that in the final shot. Uh, moving on. This, I mean, this this whole scene is pretty straightforward. Uh, the swords here, uh, I was a kind of a last minute uh, addition to it. Um, just you know, thought I wanted something to kind of make it less like gloomy and stuff. I don't know, just throw those in there. Maybe people can laugh at that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There's just some typical animation. Uh, animating these actually, I didn't do them by hand actually driven with expressions and really basic expressions I'll go ahead and hop in here uh, can save you a ton of time um, a ton of time animating I'm not really gonna go through and explain how this works I mean it's they're pretty simple stuff I mean a few minutes of reading up and and you can use these basic expressions but basically these this these line these two short little lines here uh, make these turn rotate around and Go up and down. I don't have to animate. I just type in the expression, copy and paste it, uh, or connect that expression to all the rotate and translate uh, for all the swords, and uh, we're good to go. Instead of having to animate all of them and then uh, like 
offset it so they're all different. I can just write an expression, which took a few minutes, and then plug it in, done. End up saving probably like 10 minutes. Um, and we'll see, I use an expression for a later thing, which we'll get into. Uh, but as far as this scene, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. All right, so here we have the scene where they're all falling through space, and they're actually not falling relative to world space. Um, you can see here's the grid here, so you can tell where we are. But if I hit play, it's going to play back real slow. Hold on. Uh, and the reason for that is a few things. Oh, it's real slow. Okay. Uh, one, the texture here. This is uh, the texture I made for this. This came out of After Effects. It's um, it's basically it's kind of it's pretty much a procedural texture, but it's composition and layered a bunch. And if it's really subtle, but it actually changes these blotches kind of move around a little bit just to give it make it a little bit more interesting uh, but in order to have a good looking uh, environment like this like a not be pixelated basically um, it has to be really high res so these are like I think I believe it's um, 8192 squared uh, so if th that image sequence it has to load up those images every frame and so that'll cause it to play back really slow so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that so it's not trying to update it. There we go. And then two, uh, smooth mesh is on for all these. So I'll go ahead and just select them and turn it off. Um, still getting really slow payback. That's interesting. Did I leave something out? Oh, all right. I fixed it. Um, it was the texture was still, um, still trying to update even though it wasn't connected to anything. So now it should, there we go. Now we have nice smooth playback. So Sparkles doesn't have a head. Uh, since we're looking through his point of view, we can't have his head in the way. Uh, so he does kind of like a falling thing. Um, again, they're all, they're all still relative to world space. They're kind of moving up and down. Um, and then for the limbs I'd mentioned before, I always used expression later on. Uh, again, a huge time saver. So let me hop over here, hold on. Um, and this ends up saving, oh, caps lock, no. This ends up saving, you know, 20 minutes or whatever work. So th the expression is actually deleted now, which I'll explain why in a minute. Um, but basically, I just, there's, there's a simple noise expression which will cause this thing to uh, randomly rotate in each direction. If you look at the little locator here, you can see it's kind of just jittering around. Uh, not too, not too quickly, not like snapping or anything, but, you know, kind of smoothly like, uh, jittering um, and so basically it's a super short expression so you have the expression and it was originally connected to all three of these rotate values then what you do is called you uh, you do what's called baking where it turns that expression into a bunch of key frames which you can see here and these are spaced apart by three you can usually you'd have it uh, a keyframe at every single frame but that wouldn't have been necessary so it's keyframed at every three frames and then I can just I have a pretty long span of time I can just copy a section of it and paste it onto each of the joints on everybody uh, and, and copy different areas so that it, they're not all in sync. Um, and like I said, that saves a huge amount of time rather than animating one joint for a long duration and then grabbing sections of that and uh, pasting on the other one. So again, simple learning, like a few minutes of reading up on expressions and you can save yourself uh, more, way more time than it takes to learn. <laughs> uh, and yeah, then he does. So I can't remember if there's an actual light. There is an actual light in the scene. Okay, I can't remember if I did that in post or not. Uh, so yeah, the light comes up. It's like ah, oh, and then he kind of teleports to the next scene, in which we have sparkles come in. He's like, whoa, where am I? And he's just a little looking around, and then we have these blocks come in. So this was the this part was fun to do. Um, so I tried out a few things. Originally, they just all started over there and animated into this bleh, this position, and that looked so totally boring. Uh, so I was like, mm, I'm gonna have to spice this up a bit. So I took a different approach. Basically, they started out in this position. Um, I just just like that, and then I applied a dynamic field. Uh, let's see which one. I can't remember which one I used. I think it was a Newton. Um, yeah. A Newton and what that does is basically it's a it creates a little object here I'll just go ahead and make it um, here we go and this is just a force that either pushes or pulls towards this wherever it's at 
so in my case, I had it pulled towards it. So um, it starts. It, so the the simulation started like this, basically, and then this thing was animated to go like this, kind of like a, you know wavy pattern, um, and then. Uh, I baked the simulation, like I said before, so each one is keyed um, at every single frame. It's kind of hard to tell since it's zoomed out so much uh, in the timeline. Uh, and then basically put it in reverse. So, it, like I said, it started out like this. So this is how the dynamic simulation looked. And they're all keyed to uh, start moving at different times. So that's how it looked after it was baked, but then I just played it in reverse, so it did this kind of assembly thing which is pretty cool. Um, and then for tra transforming into Beware, I grabbed a few of these blocks, uh, keyed them, moved them into the shape of Beware, keyed them, and then whichever ones were left over, I just keyed them in their position and then keyed them to fall down. Um, you get this kind of school like drop effect. And that's right when the boom drum hits uh, and with the music. So I saw in, in the comments some people were thinking this might have been capsized. Who you're asking, you know, who's 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 referring to by me? Um, and some people thought maybe capsize and others uh, ionite. Uh, originally, when I was making this, I was thinking it was my night, but just because I'm the one who made it, I don't think I should be the one to like say what it is. It's like it's up to interpretation, whatever, um, what, whatever you think it is. It can be. Um, in my mind, it was ionite saying this really. Yeah. Um, let's see. And then here the light, the red light comes up. And yeah, shows of what to come, which could be anything since it's out of frame. <laughs> um, and then there's the transition into the new world. So this was rendered out separately. Because um, you can tell, like uh, in the video, you can see when it when he closes his eyes and it does like a wavy thing and then he's in... Uh, my night 2.0 or not really the, the new land. I forgot what it's called. Um, it does, you know, kind of wavy thing, but it never cuts. So it's looking at him the whole time, which was kind of fun to cool to put together, I guess. And all I did is just copy the position of everything and paste it on the rig in a new scene. So it looked just like that. Paste the camera in the same spot. Um, and yeah, now there were some lighting differences and originally it was just going to fade from one to the other, but with the lighting differences and the way the shadows looked, it was like, eh, so the, I put the wavy thing in there to kind of like blend it a little bit better. So let's go ahead and hop into that scene actually. Uh, which one is it? I think it's new land. There it is. All right. And here we have the final scene. Um, uh, lighting in this was actually, I was really happy with the lights. It rendered super quick. Um, there's only three lights, a bounce or two bounces. Yeah, two bounces and a key light, uh, which lit the whole scene, rendered super quick. It looked, in my opinion, it looks pretty good, especially for the, how simplistic it was. Uh, but yeah, that was, that made me super happy to see it. Oh, wow. It's only going to take this a little while to render. Um, so we have, oh, smooth meshes on for everything. Ugh. One. There we go. Uh, so we have the camera kind of pan out, do a spin around, music gets all boom, 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 boom. Got Syndicate up on, oh, you can't see that, never mind. I, was, I had my mouse on the viewport. Uh, the camera thing is over here. Uh, you have Syndicate up there on the windmill, the windmill spinning, and then the sword come in. But yeah, that's pretty much it to this scene. Real, real short. Uh, our original is just going to have everyone like standing up here, facing different directions. But that would have been boring. <laughs> so I was like, all right, let's just scatter everybody doing something uh, something else. And yeah, that's what I came up with. <laughs> all right. All right, so here we have the outro part. Um, and these are these are the fun things to make. Uh, this is when like, this is like the final stretch. You know, the rest of the video has really come together. It's looking good, pretty much done. And now you just got to put together this one last... Uh, epic ending thing to drive it home. So these are these are good memories. It's like the finish line. It's like crossing the finish line or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, this one in particular, I really liked how this came out. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. Um, I started this, started working on this like 9 p.m. the night before the video went up. 
And so I started putting something together. It was something completely different than this. Uh, and it was like, eh. So I started working on something else, and I started do, trying to do all these things. And they all kind of were turning into uh, the the same kind of, like, pieces flying together and assembling and sound effects and logo. Uh, and I was like, I want something more different, you know? Uh, so at this, at this point it was like 4 a.m. <laughs> and I was like, all right, uh, how about we had, instead of things coming together, they fall apart. Uh, so I had like, uh, tried out a few things and eventually I was like, all right, rocks exploding will look cool. Uh, so the sword comes by, uh, and actually the sword here, if I, you can't really see it because of the materials, pretty much completely transparent. Uh, if I turn on. Uh, now you can see it. The sword here is the same sword from the Mayanite, or from Captain Sparkle's origin sword in Mayanite. So we look here. Ooh, it's the same sword. Um, as well as the letters are the same letters too, just slightly. Whoops. Oh yeah, you can see my epic. Well, I'm not one. I'm not a huge huge fan of wallpapers. Uh, I I've always just used a black background, but I love this render so much. <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty cool. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna use this as my background. Uh, at least for a little while until I probably will get bored and then go back to something black or just black. Um, but anyway, uh, the letters here are the same from this video, uh, just slightly remodeled so that they're straight instead of the bended curved thing. Um, and then for the, so for the exploding part, the exploding rock, boom, 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 uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, so there's two, there's the pieces, I'll go ahead and hop into wireframe. There's the pieces, uh, actually let's try that, no, okay, never mind. Never mind, go back to how things were, there we go. Uh, so on the given frame, the actual block disappears, um, the shattered pieces appear, and the way to make these, I made these shattered pieces, is there's just an operation uh, called create shatter. Um, I have the perspective here. Um, Basically, you can just select an object, effects, create shatter, and it shatters up into a bunch of little pieces. Um, and you can control how many pieces, the size variation, the jaggedness of the edges, um, and it creates a, an actual shatter. These pieces are nowhere resemble the original shape. That's because when it originally shattered, there were way too many pieces. It was completely distracting, um, and there were two. There were two like big, the big chunks and stuff look kind of not good. Uh, so I ended up deleting like 80% of the pieces because you can see this nowhere near uh, would fill the same amount of volume as this. Um, so I deleted t most of the pieces and just kept a few just so it's not so distracting. Um, but yeah, uh, so the main block disappears, the pieces up here. Uh, there's, I previously had simulated these all to go flying um, away from the center. Um, flying out here. All slow like. Uh, and yeah, and then it uncovers the letters underneath. Anyway, that, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. Any questions about anything, leave a comment. Um, music, I'll have a download to the music because people really like that, which like I said, makes me super happy. Uh, there'll be a download in the description if you want the music. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching. Bye.